Howdy, y'all. Well, today I thought I'd give you my impressions of my, well, now not so new, motorcycle, which I've had now for a little bit over six months. All righty. Um, riding impressions. Uh, I enjoy this bike. Um, you know, if I was going cross country, I, I think I might ultimately want a little bit bigger bike. But I'm not going cross country ever, anytime soon. And could I go cross country on this? Absolutely. Um, there really isn't too much I don't like about the ride of this bike. Some people say that the rear suspension uh, creates a lot of uh, pain, but or uh, you feel the bumps and everything. I, I don't seem to feel that that much. I don't know why, but it, I, I'm not experiencing that. Uh, hey, I did want to intersect something. Now that I have my camera on the right side of my helmet. You guys see me change lanes and stuff, but what you don't realize is even though I'm not using a turn signal, I'm old school. I, I will always use my hand signal. I, you know, almost always I'm, I'm indicating switching lanes with my left, with, uh, with my hand. I have the uh, higher gear, or excuse me, not the higher gear, but some indicator. Uh, I'm getting used to hearing the sound of the engine and, and feeling for it. Um, this is a road that I have to come out on when I'm going home and the speed limit on this road when I'm going or when I leave home, which is also where I work, it's actually a mobile office that I bought. And I, and, uh, so when I leave there, I get on this road and it's 75 miles an hour. I normally do just like right now. I'm cruising along at 70. At 70, there's a little vibration in the floorboard, but it's very powerful. It's nothing that's going to be, you know, you can't ride for a couple hours, take brake stretch. Hardly any vibration in the hand, hand grip. Uh, the mirrors, you really don't have any, you know, uh, pretty clear. You can you can see out of it. There's not going to be a problem with that. And basically, I can ride for two, three hours pretty easily at 70 miles an hour on this. Now, when you go over that, that's when you start getting a little bit more vibration in the hands, in the sea, uh, floorboards, all that kind of stuff. But it's not... Uh, I drive down this road 75, 80 every once in a while, but I kind of like cruising at 70 right here, and, and that just feels good. Now, one thing I'd love to do on this, if anybody knows how, I'd love to have you tell me, is I'd really like to put a backrest for me, the driver. This seat is a one-piece seat. Uh, driver and the passenger are just one solid seat. So I don't see any way to do that. And uh, I was looking at different seats and the best ones seem to be the, like the Mustang seat that, that will work on this bike. Has a driver backrest. Six hundred some dollars. So by the time you do tax and everything, I mean, you're, you're looking at basically seven hundred dollars. And I don't want to spend seven hundred dollars on a seat. Could I? Yeah. Would I rather have that money for something else? Absolutely, I'd rather have that money for something else. I'm going to slow down here and let this guy pass me because my turn's coming up. But, uh, anyways, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, you know, I'm like about five, nine, and three quarters. It's very important to get that three quarters in there if you're a man and you're not six foot. Um, and 
this is a real comfortable feeling bike. I mean, the, the seat hits me really good. The handlebars hit me really good. I think that if my legs were much longer, it might not be a really comfortable riding style. Uh, but anyways, that's what I think of the bike right now. I'm very happy with it. The bike retails for, I think, right around $8,900 U.S. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say any bikes worth what they charge because I, I think, you know, the first bike I had was a 350 Honda CB in 1970. I think it was a 71 model. But anyways, um, I paid 350 bucks for it, brand new. So it's kind of hard for me to look at, you know, that kind of money. And, of course, this was a 2014, so it was a leftover. And I got it at a pretty good price, and I got pretty good money for my Bergman. So, you know, 